So here we have the Mazda CX-5 on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. We're going to start off in the boot area first of all. The tailgate in this car will open electronically as you can see. As we approach the back of the car you'll also see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well which can be increased if you wish to by folding down any or all of those uh, rear three seats that you see there. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. As you can see, we have the speedometer up here, we have the fuel gauge up here, and the total miles for this car as well, which are 18,833. Out on the steering wheel, uh, we have stereo controls on the left-hand side, along with phone controls. Over on the right-hand side, our cruise control and speed limiter. Uh, this button here, if you hit that after you set cruise control, this car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front's speed. And then over in the centre, we have the main screen. So this, amongst other things, is where you will pair up your phone, which we're not going to do at the moment. All of the movement that I'm making on the screen is being done using predominantly this dial just here. You can use the buttons that surround it for certain menus, as you can see. The main menu, which is this button, is what we're on at the moment, and the dial will operate everything that's going on up there. For example, the phone which you saw just a moment ago, we can rotate the dial to nav, push it down, we'll then be in the satellite navigation menu. We've done a video showing how the sat-nav works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. When it comes to our music in the car, we have a number of ways we can listen to it, and you can see those on screen now. Uh, they include Bluetooth audio, and uh, at the bottom there we have two separate USB inputs, which will become available if you plug devices into those. On top of all of that, this car's got a 360 parking camera, so a reversing camera on the right-hand side, and a bird's-eye view image of exactly where the car is parked now on that left-hand side, making it very easy to park, of course. Working our way down from that, we have the dual zone climate control so you can adjust the passenger temperature the driver temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in and when you're happy with those settings you can turn your air conditioning on and it's on at the moment same button to turn it off of course or hit auto the car will then maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you you can override that whenever you wish to. We've also got a heated driver and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings and a heated steering wheel just there as well. We have a 12 volt charging socket underneath that cap. Uh, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. You can change the driving setup of the car from here so you can put it into sport so the gearbox will be in sport mode. And then an electronic handbrake with auto hold function and the main volume for the stereo just here. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at MJA Car Sales. We'd love to hear from you soon.